Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can play Flight Simulator even when you're on vacation without access to your Xbox or your PC. The things which you need is an Xbox controller and the other thing which you need is uh, an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate version. And that will allow you to access the cloud gaming functionality. So on the iPad, which I'm currently using, I've already installed the cloud gaming app. So that's one of the things which you need to do. And of course, you also need to make sure that your, I would say, controller is connected to your iPad. So if I go to my controllers uh, and go to my settings, right, you will need to go to the Bluetooth settings. And inside the Bluetooth settings, you can see that the Xbox uh, wireless controller is already, I would say, shown. But it's not yet connected. So let me uh, make sure that it's uh, switched on. In this case, it says it can't connect, right? So if it can't connect, then press the, I would say, button on the Xbox controller, which allows you to, would say, perform the remapping. Then the LED on the Xbox controller will start to blink very fast. And now you can see it's, it's, it is connected. There's also a warning, which is in Dutch, which says, hey, if you are using the Xbox wireless controller, then uh, be aware that it could influence the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection. Well, that's fine for me. Uh, let's accept it and then open the cloud gaming app. In the cloud gaming app, you can see the games which you play played recently, right? And you can also download, of course, uh, multiple other games. So the thing which we're going to do now is we're going to go to the uh, standard edition of Flight Simulator 2020 because that's the between brackets downside is that you can only use the standard edition of Flight Simulator 2020, which means that you're missing the advanced and premium content uh, as well as any, I would say, community uh, add-ons or third party add-ons which you bought, they are not included. But for the rest, it will work and I will show you what, how that experience is. Uh, can you start it without the Xbox controller? Yes, you can start it without the Xbox controller, but you will get a warning. And to be honest, it's all, I would say, it's undoable. It's already hard when using the Xbox controller, right? So be aware of that. So we can say, okay, hey, press the key. So we're gonna press the key and then wait till it's uh, loaded. Uh, I used to do my vacation and to try some things and play it. Uh, so the good thing is that it still syncs your profile. Uh, so you always, I would say, if you're flying long flights, it will still be, I would say, locked here. So you can see that. Uh, the observations which I did is that although they say that all the content is installed, uh, I observed some scenarios where I, for example, couldn't, I would say, fly one of the uh, bush trips or one of the landing challenges because the content wasn't was not installed. I could install it, but it's kind of weird. So be aware of that. So what we're now doing is we're simply streaming the content of the Xbox Cloud to or iPad, right? So really nice option and allows you to even play a flight simulator uh, when you're on vacation or holiday. So uh, let's give it a few minutes before it, it loads, right? Because it needs to start from scratch. Uh, there's no quick launch, uh, for example, like uh, on the Xbox. So you will need to give it a few minutes and then you can use it. Uh, the world update which are available should be installed in this package right that means that all the i would say world updates are there so you can i uh, can play it if you want um so let's have a look right it's almost there a few minutes so there's one big disclaimer currently i'm playing it uh currently i would say on my home wi-fi connection but i also tried it on mobile wi-fi connections and it works right sometimes it's i would say a little bit bumpy but if you've got a good connection uh, i would say on your vacation address then it should work uh, and then you can still fly play flight simulator although in some cases it's harder because keep in mind that you are playing it with the xbox controller so not with i would say a joystick or uh, which is suitable for flight simulator 2020 you don't have a keyboard or mouse connected so there are some challenges uh, and i would say it's not the same experience as you might have expected uh, when flying it using uh, the PC version. So here we go, right? So we can still go to the marketplace or we can still go to the profiles and then check the content manager. And in the content manager, we will see that I would say everything should be installed, right? Uh, or most of it should be installed. In this case, there are things which are also not installed. And in those cases, those are the, I would say, other airplanes. And for example, the, the Topcom packages. So, uh, 
it's a little bit weird that not everything is installed i don't know what's the reason behind that maybe i would say it's simply bad luck because for example if you would look at the world updates not all the world updates are included uh, maybe that's something which they need to still do i'm also not sure if you can install them right we can try it of course uh, we can for example install the uh the fokker but that will take a little bit some time so let's install the Yonkers and let's see if we can download anything. Uh, it could be that it's restricting us to download it, but hey, as it looks like it's still installing it. Uh, it goes also pretty fast, right? Because it's all in the cloud, so it should have, I would say, almost direct access. Uh, so that's one thing, uh, which means also that if you want to play any of the learning challenges or uh, I would say uh, boost trips, from those world updates which are not being installed right so let's go to uh learning challenges for example they will be listed over here but you still need to download them uh if you want to play it for example if alanda etc uh, could be installed but maybe if we uh, choose one of the later ones um can try for example this one it could be that it warns us that we need to install it although in this case it looks like this one is installed because it makes sense right because the world update is there um, so let's go to one of those bush trips in this case and see so you might ask hey why is it all set to zero percent well because i'm participating in the beta which has reset everything to zero percent but hey that's the risk of uh playing the beta and uh, from here you can select the uh, world updates or the add-ons which are available so it looks like they also made a change here because last time i tried it i saw several of the uh what is it uh flights which were for example in spain and portugal and they when i would say trying to fly them they it says okay hey you need to install them um i think it will for example if you will play this one Right. You can also see already see the download icon here, so it's easy to recognize. If the download icon is shown here, then you are missing the content and then you will need to uh, download it. Uh, and that was, I would say, kind of easy, but you need to give it some time, right? So the download is, I'd say, is still in progress. So let's see if it's uh, already there. Uh, so we're going to go to the uh, profile and then go to the uh, marketplace or the content manager in this case and then see it's still downloading right so it takes some time uh, but it goes goes pretty fast right so um that's the junkers so what's the experience well let's uh, start from the world map and let's uh, i would say uh, circle around the world and then fly a suitable spot which we can use uh, to depart from um let's go here let's go to south africa in this case uh, south africa also has a nice airport so we're gonna depart from Cape Town International. Now uh, we're gonna say set as departure and then uh, fly. So what I do expect, but what I didn't test is if you can install the things which you bought from the uh, marketplace. Uh, based on the things which I'm just, which I just saw right when installing the junkers, I do expect that you can install them. But if you bought stuff outside of the uh, marketplace, then you of course can't install it because you don't have access to those uh, Xbox says in the cloud and it's an xbox and not a pc also so be aware of that uh, so maybe another reason for you to buy content from the marketplace instead of via the i would say for party sites but that's of course entirely up to you so here we go right so we're gonna increase the engine power uh increase the engine power you need to push the right buttons that also always helps Remove the parking brake. And then we're going airborne, right? So let's let's try it. Yes, I know it's bumpy, but it's using the Xbox controller. Uh, oh, wrong button. So and here we go, and you can see that it's a, it, it flies pretty smoothly, right? So no bumping. Uh, graphics look okay-ish, right? You always need to keep in mind it's running in the cloud, so it could affect the quality a bit. But overall, it's, I would say, pretty good. So this is also something you might want to try if you've got a PC which doesn't have the, I would say, prerequisites uh, for Flight Simulator. Then you could also consider using this. 
uh, then you might be able to use I would say an older PC to even play Flight Simulator again the thing is that you don't have the uh, premium and uh, uh, deluxe versions installed so you're missing some of the aircrafts but hey uh, that might not make uh, I would say be in a big issue right if you're playing it uh, while you're on vacation so you can still see right it works pretty smoothly and still uh, depart uh, so now we're flying above uh, South Africa uh, so kind of cool right so in this how to we looked at how you can configure the uh, iPad to play flight simulator uh, using the cloud gaming uh, functionality of, of the Xbox uh, again you need to have the controller as well as the uh, ultimate uh, game pass subscription to use this functionality so if you don't have it then consider to buy it uh, maybe you buy it for a month or something uh, or maybe for longer and then you at least can continue to play flight simulator uh, when you're on vacation and when the weather is bad or uh, as it currently is uh, maybe a little bit too hot to go outside i hope you liked this video if you liked it then consider to use the like button if you got questions or comments then feel free to post them in the comment box below and if you want to stay up to date with new videos i'm posting then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time